yesterday we started with a group first we discussed with algebraic structure what is algebraic structure and after that the operators operations and also monoid and other things we discussed after that they define the group what is group the algebraic system yes g star is called a group under the operation star if the following conditions are holds one is the star operator is associative on g g contains an identity element e with respect to star and every element of a in g has an inverse with respect to star so a group g is a monoid in which every element is invertible and also we gave some examples related to groups and also we uh, discuss some of the examples of commutative groups and also we discuss the subgroup it is again it satisfies the uh, if g is a group and h is a subset of g then h satisfies all the properties of a group then we say that it is a subgroup that is the general definition and also we give some examples related to and also types of other types of groups also we discuss that is commutative or abelian and order of a group and also infinite group and also we discuss some of the theorems related to groups that is uniqueness and also identity some other properties of a group also we discussed and also proved left and right cancellation laws etc and also we gave one example related to the groups we discussed in the last class let g be a the set of all non zero real numbers and let a star b is equal to a b by 2 show that g star is an abelian group this one we discussed now today we want to discuss the another uh, problem related to group is let g be the set of real numbers not equal to minus 1 and star is defined by a star b it, it is not plus here here a star b star is defined by a plus b plus a b this the star is a uh, denoted and also g is a set of all real numbers g is a real number and it is not equal to minus 1 this the set is given first we want to show that here this star this operator g star is a group what is the first first is the operation you know that it satisfies the closure property what is closure if a star b is equal to a plus b plus ab will be there one of the operation is addition another one is multiplication is there here the multi addition and multiplication property is itself a closure therefore we say that a star b is closed closed under star next the second property that is not necessary to say because always the operator always shows the closure one next we want to show that associativity what is associativity if we take a star b star of c equals here a star of b star of c this associative condition here a star b can be denoted by this is the first element this is the second element is equal to first element plus second element plus first into second element here this can be denoted by a plus b plus ab into star of c similarly in the right hand side what happens here a star here the first and second element that can be denoted by b plus c plus b into c here again the two elements this is you get rated at one and another one element then this become a plus b plus ab plus c because first element plus second element plus here what happens a plus b plus ab into c that is equal to what happens here the first element plus here the second element is b plus c plus bc plus what happens here this become a into b plus c plus bc the finally if you simplifying here what happens here a plus b plus uh, 
C plus AB plus here what happens here that is AC plus BC plus ABC will be there. Similarly, in the right hand side what happens here that is A plus B plus C plus BC plus AB plus AC plus ABC will be there. If you check it out here A plus B plus C is there here also A plus B plus C AB is there here also AB AC and AC and BC here also BC then ABC means left hand side and right hand sides both the sides are equal therefore this property star is associative this is the condition associativity holds next one is we check the identity element what is identity? Here, if A star E equals A is the definition. Here, identity, we find the identity element of star here. A star E is equal to A means here, A star E can be written as A plus E plus A B, A plus E plus A E equals A. Then, from left cancellation la this cancel then you get here e plus e is a common factor for these two we will take that 1 plus a equals 0 because a minus a that becomes 0 you get e equals 0 or 1 plus a equals 0 means a equals minus 1 here the given that in a set r equal r is not equal to minus 1 means this cannot be possible therefore identity element e equals 0 then identity element exists what is next condition next one is inverse what is inverse a star a inverse equals e this is the definition of a inverse here a star a inverse means here a star a b can be written as a plus b plus a b will be there then a star a inverse means a plus a inverse plus a into a inverse equals here in this particular problem the identity element is equal to 0 e equals 0 here therefore here we can take that one to a to that side that become minus a then a inverse is a common factor a inverse into 1 plus a equals minus a therefore a inverse equals minus a divided by 1 plus a if you say that if a is present in r then a inverse is in the form of minus a divided by 1 plus a this is also a real number therefore here this star operate when it satisfies closure, associativity and identity existence of identity inverse is also there means it is a group. Next here we want to show that it is an abelian group, abelian group means it is commutative it satisfies the after this it satisfies the commutative property. What is commutative property? A star B equals B star A that is commutative or abelian abelian here a star b means a plus b plus a b that is same as here b plus a plus b a here a is present b is there then a b these two are equal therefore we say that it satisfies all the four condition means it is an abelian group this is one of the examples. The next problem is prove that a group G in which every element is its own inverse is abelian. Means what is the meaning of that? Here it is already a group, it is already a group, G is a group with every element is an inverse. If A belongs to G, G star is a group g star is a group if we take a belongs to g implies a inverse is also belongs to g and also because it is a group and also given that 
every element is its own inverse means a and a is a a inverse also and b equals b inverse it is self inverse then a b the whole inverse equals a b prove that every element of its own inverse means we want to show that here a b the whole inverse can be written as you know that is inverse property that is b inverse into a inverse reverse order then here a b whole inverse is a b then b inverse is b and a inverse is a means it is an abelian here we consider g is a group star is an operator it is given that every element is its own inverse means a equals a inverse b equals b inverse and a b the whole inverse is equal to a b now we consider a b the whole inverse can be written as the inverse property that is b inverse into a inverse here the given that it is one inverse means a b whole inverse is equal to a b b inverse is equal to b and a inverse is equal to a what is this this is same as abelian in a group this is another problem in a group g having more than one element if x square equals x for every x belongs to g prove that g is abelian means if you take here also these are simple problems x square equals x and also if you take y square equals y here what is to show we want to show that here x y equals y x that is the property here and also for, for all x and y must be belongs to the group g here if x y we want to show that because it is an abelian x y is equal to y x means first we can start with uh, x x because x square into y square can be written as x into x y because x square can be written as x into x y into y y square can be written as y into y then this is same as this then this can also be written as what is that x y x square y okay i will consider this this is better if you want x into x y into y this is same as x x square into y square then this is same as x y the whole square x y the whole square is same as what is that x x square is equal to x and y square is equal to y means similarly x y the whole square is x y then x y the whole square can be written as here this x y can be written as here x y the whole square will be there x y into x y x y into x y means what happens the associative law holds here if the associative law holds means this can be written as x times y x into y here x into x y we started with x times x y into y become x into y x into y means if we use right and left cancellation law left cancellation law and also right cancellation law we get x y equals y x means it is an abelian group similarly you can prove that the g is an abelian a b the whole square equals a square into b square means here we can start with a b the whole square can be written as a b into a b then that can also be because it is already given it is an abelian group means if you need i will give you one of the example part of this problem because if and only if condition is there here the a b the whole square equals a square b square we want to prove this first i will start with this a b the whole square can be written as first we can take it as a b into a b you know that x square can be written as x into x then because it is already a group means it satisfies closure associative inverse and also identity then here this property if we change this using 
associative condition A times B A into B. Then it is given that first we assume that G is abelian. G is abelian means A B is equal to B A. Here we use that property. This can be written as A times A B into B. Abelian property. Then this become A square into again associativity A square into B square. We get this. Similarly, say exactly similar procedure. If you start with A B, the whole square is equal to A square B square. Then A square again is split at this. Means if and only if condition again it holds. Means if it is an abelian, that is same as A B whole square is equal to A square B square. Prove that a group G is abelian if and only if A B the whole inverse equals A inverse into B inverse. It, this is exactly similar procedure what we adopted in the previous problem. This is also another problem you can work it out yourself. Let G1, G1 star 1 and there are two groups will be there. Consider the Cartesian product means G1 cross G2 on this product define the operation another operation star that is a b star of 3 into c comma d that can be denoted by here the first star will be the first one b is the second star is the second one second operator show that g1 cross g2 star 3 is a group if g1 and g2 are abelian prove that g1 cross g2 is abelian using this property you can show that it is abelian. This is one of the example we already solved one of them in a, a plus a star b is equal to a plus b plus a b forms exactly similar way we can prove this one also. If dot is an uh, operation on z integers defined by x dot y is equal to x plus y plus 1 prove that z dot that is a operator is an abelian group. First we show that if we take two elements x and y in an integers then that become x plus y plus z y x plus y plus 1 that belongs to an integer this implies this is an operator that is x dot of y it belongs to z that is composition also. Next this verifies that z is a closed under the operation. Next you can take because next we want to verify the associativity that is for any three elements x, y, z belongs to z then we can start with x operated on y and z the first we can operate these two that is x operate to y plus z plus 1 then again you can operate here that is x plus the first here first element and second element first element plus second element plus 1 will be there here. Then x plus y plus z plus 1 plus 1 or you can take it an associativity condition x plus y plus 1 plus z plus 1 then again here this is same as the operator associativity holds good or you can operate what I shown in the black diagram. Next, this shows that an associativity in Z. Next, we can verify the identity. Here, we can take directly uh, x dot of minus 1, x minus of 1 plus 1 is equal to x, then minus 1 operated on x equals minus 1 plus x plus 1, you get that element. That is A star E equals A, that property here minus 1 is the identity element in z under the composition. Then you can find the identity element so, after finding the identity element you can find the inverse for any x in z then x operated to minus x plus 2 instead of that I shown you can <coughs> use this method or another one I shown there a star e equals 
a star a inverse equals e. Here e equals you know that minus 1, a star a inverse means here a plus a inverse minus plus 1 is the operator here because x star y Yeah, x star x plus y plus 1. Here, this is we can get it there here a plus a inverse equals minus 1 is the identity. We can transfer to that side that is minus 2. Then a inverse is of the form minus 2 minus e belongs to the integers. minus of x plus 2 belongs to z under the operator. Lastly, we note that for any x y belongs to an integer, then x dot of y equals y dot of x means it is an associate sorry commutative or abelian property. Hence, we say that the cost composition is a commutative group. Now, we give a another one example that is Klein's 4 group. The one of the German mathematician Flex Klein, Klein's 4 group. He made what is Klein's 4 group is the every element means if you take here there are 4 elements will be there A is equal to E A B C all of them are self inverse. Self inverse means identity A is equal to A inverse, B is equal to B inverse and C is equal to C inverse that is the Klein's 4 group. Consider this set A equals E A B C on the set. Suppose we define a binary operation described by the following table. Here this is the operator E A B C, here also E A B C, E into E is equal to E, E into A is equal to A and E into B is equal to B and E into C is equal identity star that element. If A into E is equal to A, a into A is equal to E here A and its inverse you get the identity. Similarly, here B into B is equal to E and C into C is equal to E. Simply observing itself of observing the table itself we say that it is an abelian group. How to verify? Under the binary operation is defined we observe that E is the identity element in the group and every element is its own inverse a into a is equal to e, b into b is equal to e, c into c is equal to e means here it is a self inverse. This group which is the order 4 is known as the Klein's 4 group after the German mathematician Felix Klein also referred as a quadratic group are usually denoted by v4. This is one of the example we must remember the self inverse Klein's 4 group. Here another that z6 under the operation addition. You know that operation is addition here 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 and z6 means after 6 it is a modulo table. Here 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3 but 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 means it is modulo 6 means you can take it as 0. Similarly, here 3 plus 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 5 means here is up to 6, 5 is after 6 means that is 0, 1, 2. Here the modulo is 2, we can write the table first. After writing the table, we can check it out the all the elements. First, we can verify that all the elements are present in the table means it satisfies the associativity and also we can check it out here 0 into 0 is equal to 0 means element its inverse is equal to same element means that is identity. Here in this z6 0 is the identity element then inverses 1 here 0 is present in the table here in one column and row the intersection of these two we get 0 means 1 and 5. If 1 is an element, 5 is its inverse. Similarly, 2, 4 is an inverse, 3, 3 is a self inverse, 3 inverse is 3 
and 4 inverse is 2 and 5 inverse is 1. Here every element having inverses identity then it satisfies the associativity means all the elements present means it is z6 under the addition operation is a group. And also if you take a star b is equal to b star a then addition property itself a abelian or commutative therefore z6 under addition is a abelian group. Here related to similar with there is a one example let z cube a modulo 6 equals z6 into z6 into z6 find the order of z6 cube and determine the inverses of each of the element 2 3 4 4 0 2 and 5 1 2 in z6 3. Here you already know the table z6 the order of is 6 into 6 into 6 because 3 will be there that is 216. A typical element is A, B, C. There are th three elements A, B, C form where A belongs to Z6, B belongs to Z6, C belongs to Z6. The inverse if A, B, C is an element under the operation addition then minus A, minus B and minus C are the inverses. Therefore, the inverse element A, B, C 6 minus A, 6 minus B and 6 minus C will be there. Next, we need to find the inverses of 2, 3, 4. In place of A, B, C, if you replace 2, 3 and 4, we get 6 minus 2, 6 minus 3 and 6 minus 4 that become 4, 3 and 2. All the elements are belongs to the set. Similarly, 4, 0, 2 is 6 minus 4, 6 minus 0 sorry this is 6 minus 0 or uh, 6 minus 2 then we get 6 minus 4 is 2 and 6 minus 0 is 6 and 6 minus 2 is 4 and 5 1 2 the inverse is 5 1 2 is 6 minus 5 6 minus 1 6 minus 2 means 6 minus 5 is 1 6 minus 1 is 5 and 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 we get the inverses. Next, uh, we can construct the multiplication table, find all the uh, in Z11 under multiplication such that x is equal to x inverse. Here, 1 into 1 is 1, 1 into 2 is 2. This is a modulo 10 table, means 0 to 10, sorry, 1 to 10 will be there. Here, the multiplication 2 into 2 is 4, 2 into 3 is 6, and 3, 2 into 4 is 8, and 2 into 5 is 10. If 2 into 6, 2 into 6 means that is 12, it is a modulo 11 means 11 minus 10, 11, 12 minus 1 is 11 is 1, you get this 1 and 2 into 7 is 14, here 11 up to 11, next one is 1, 2, 3, then you can write 3. Similarly, 2 into 10 is 20, 20 means 11 is the maximum number, then 11, 20 minus 11 is 9. Similarly, we can construct the table here 9 into 9 is 81, then you get 4 here. Similarly, the all the elements we can construct here and simply observing here all the elements are present in the table. Then each row you can check it out, then closure and associative property because multiplication and addition property itself shows the associative and closure properties. Therefore, it is nothing to because the table is constructed all the element are present means we cannot show that it is closure and associative condition. The next one is identity. First, we can identify the identity element here. 1 is there means here 1 into 1 that is a 1 is the identity element. Then in this row you can observe here 2 into 6 is 1 means inverse of 2 is 6 and 3 inverse is 4, 4 inverse is uh, 3, 4 inverse is 3 and 5 inverse is mm, 9 and 6 inverse is 2, then 7 inverse is 
8 and 8 inverse is 7 and 9 inverse is 5 and 10. If you observe here 10 into 10 is it is a self inverse means here what is to show that x is equal to x inverse here 1 and 10 are the two elements are inverses means here here x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 10 are only elements in z 11 are their own inverses that can be denoted by x square is congruent to 1 mod 11. Next there is another example if s of x is the set of bijections from any set x to itself then s of x the operation operator is a group under composition. This group is called symmetric group or permutation group of x. There is another translation you know that in a plane a translation of a plane r square in the direction of the vector a comma b is a function defined by f is a mapping from r square to r square that is real numbers to a real numbers is defined by f of x comma y is equal to x plus a comma y plus b. The composition of this translation with a translation g in the direction c comma d is the function mapping from f comma g is mapping to r square to r square where f of g of x comma y is equal to f of g of x comma y that is f of x plus c comma y plus d that can again x plus c can be written as x plus c plus a this operator because f of x comma y can be written as x plus a comma y plus b you can operate it here then this translation in the direction of c plus a comma d plus b it can easily be verified that the set of all translation in r square is an abelian group under the composition the identity of this identity transformation because i real number will be there 1 r square is mapping from r square to r square and the inverse of the translation what is the inverse of the translation if a comma b the in the ordered pair that must be minus because here addition is there then definitely it is minus a comma minus b the inverse of the translation in the direction of a comma b is the translation in the opposite direction suppose it is in the above it become below that is the operation minus a comma minus b next we give another example the realizations here e there is a only one element that is c1 is a e one element c that is e to e that is a group simple and c2 e a b e will be there a square e comma a that is 1 comma minus 1 reflection is c sigma e sigma then rotation group is c2 e comma c2 the rotation angle is 2 pi by n and c3 that is two elements will be there a b a and a become b and a into b become e then these are the three c3 the realization of the rotation group is c3 e c3 c3 inverse and cyclic group c3 e a a square a cube is equal to e and the elements are in the form 1 e power i 2 n pi by 3 e power i 4 n pi by 3 there is the rotations the cyclic permutation of three objects that is 1 2 3 2 3 1 and 3 1 2 means identity of s 1 is 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 2 2 2 3 will be there here the rotation the permutation can be denoted by 1 2 3 1 2 3 and another one is 1 2 3 here that is 2 3 1 and another one is 3 1 2 sorry 1 2 3 3 1 2 means 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 1 the rotations there is another example sorry next we will discuss the subgroup 
we discussed the group properties now we go to subgroup it is often happens that some of the subset of a group will also form a group under the same operation such a group is called a subgroup if g dot is a group h is a non empty subset of g then h dot is called a subgroup of g dot if the following conditions are holds first it satisfies closure second the existence of inverse then the condition 1 and 2 are equivalent to a single condition also a dot b inverse belongs to h for all a b belongs to h if this only one condition satisfied by that set then we say that it is a subgroup there are two types of subgroup will be there one of them is improper subgroup another one is proper subgroups improper subgroup means any group is a subgroup of itself then we say that it is a improper subgroup trivial subgroup the set consisting of just the identity element of a group is called also a subgroup means only identity element is present e then it is also a subgroup that is known as trivial subgroup proper subgroup means it is less than the elements containing in the set we can define in the another way this is z plus under the operation the positive integer here integers you know that it is a group under addition only positive integers is also a subgroup under the addition some cut certain conditions and real number positive real number is also a subgroup under real number this is one best example for a group first then it is a subgroup also we here let w4 is equal to 1 minus 1 i and minus i is known as fourth roots of unity and in this we can take two elements 1 and minus 1 one is the identity element 1 and minus 1 under the operation multiplication means here this is a table we can construct here multiplication 1 and minus 1 here also 1 and minus 1 1 into 1 is 1 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 here 1 this is the square roots of unity under multiplication here you can this is the fourth roots of unity 1 minus 1 i and minus i first 1 into 1 is 1 1 into minus 1 1 into i 1 into minus i you know that i square is equal to minus 1 it is a complex number i is equal to root of minus 1 in this we are shown that it is a group first from the table it is evident that the w4 means all the fourth roots of unity 1 minus 1 i are closed under multiplication since multiplication i already mentioned addition and multiplication property itself shows the closure as well as associative here also associative in the set of complex numbers it is associative in w4 further here one is there means an element and its inverse again the element means that is known as the identity here one is the identity element then every element of a is an inverse is there you can observe here minus 1 inverse is minus 1 i inverse is minus i minus i inverse is i therefore it is a group in this we are taken two elements here 1 and minus 1 and we operated a table multiplication first here the identity element 1 same identity is there and also all the elements are present here closure and associative is property is satisfied then 1 is inverse is 1 and minus 1 is inverse self inverse minus 1 into minus 1 is equal to 1 means this is also a square roots of unity is a subgroup of fourth roots of unity now we discuss some of the properties related to a subgroup 
let H is a subgroup of G, if and only if for all A B in H, we have A star B belongs to H and A inverse belongs to H. How to prove this? H is a subgroup of G means the basic definition of a subgroup means it is again a group itself. H is a subgroup of G means H is a group by itself. Then we want to show that these two properties. H is a group means what is this? This is a closure property means A B belongs to H means A star B definitely belongs to H that is closure condition. And if A belongs to H means A inverse is also belongs to H because H is already a group that is a basic definition. Then here the first necessary condition is over. Next what is to show that here what is, what is to show here in the sufficient condition H is a subset and also it satisfies these two condition we want to show that it is a group. Conversely, suppose for all for all A B in H, if A star B in H and A inverse H means we want to show that H is a group. By heredity, associativity holds for H as star is closed on H. In the second property, if A belongs to H, we have it is given A inverse is also in H means A into A inverse. If you multiply A and element and its inverse become E, E is also belongs to the set. Next, also for every A belongs to H, we have A inverse is also there. Therefore, it satisfies the inverse also means from 1 to 3 H is a group hence H is a subgroup of G. Means now onwards we can if you A set is subset is there if you show these two condition then it is a subgroup. There is a another criteria is there for a subset of to be a subgroup. Instead of two condition we show that only one condition. Here H is a subgroup of G if and only if for all A comma B in H we have A star B inverse belongs to H. Here first we show that H is a subgroup of G. H is a subgroup of G means what is the basic definition? H is group by itself and hence for all A B if you take two elements in H we have a into B inverse belongs to H. If A belongs to H and B belongs to H means definitely it is already a group means inverse property is already there. Means B belongs to H means B inverse is already there. Means A into B inverse belongs to H. Then we can operate A star B inverse belongs to H. This is the condition. This is necessary condition is satisfied. Next we want to show that if this condition holds by the set then we want to show that it is a group. Suppose for all elements A B in H then A star B inverse is equal to H. Then we want to show that it is a group for A belongs to H take B is equal to A means instead of A you can take B b is equal to a then this become a in star of a inverse. a star a inverse means it is an identity means existence of identity is there. In the second condition for b belongs to h a equals e instead of here a you can take e then e star b inverse b belongs to h then B inverse belongs to H means here B belongs to H, B inverse belongs to means that is inverse condition holds and for A belongs to H and A B is equal to B inverse then A star B inverse the whole inverse means A star B inverse the whole inverse means inverse of inverse means element itself then you get A star B belongs to H means this is the closure property. 
Similarly, we get 1 and 3 closure and associativity star operator satisfies the closure associative condition means we get H is a group hence a subgroup of G. Now onwards instead of proving group the subset only you can show that A star B in mass belongs to H. H is a subgroup of G means star B in mass belongs to H. Next another theorem when H is a finite and subgroup of G if and only if for all A B belongs to H we have A into B belongs to H. First suppose that H is a subgroup then H is a group in its own right let A B belongs to H A into B belongs to H. Conversely suppose that for all A B in H then the product is also in H. Here that is suppose H is a closure under the operation G means since H is contained in G. H is contained in G means it associative law holds good in G. Definitely H is also associative means in it is inherited. Associative law is inherited from G then you get H as also satisfies the associative. Then take any A belongs to H and consider the set A H that is A term comma H such that H is in H. Since A belongs to, sorry, since A belongs to H we have A H that is similar to cosets A H belongs to H for any H in H therefore A H is contained in H. Since H is a finite it follows that this, this is also a finite set. Now we can define a function f is a mapping from H to A H and the elements is in the form here f the f of small h equals after getting here you get A times small h. For all h in H then f of H1 means we here we want to show that it is 1 1 then it is here f of H1 equals f of H2 then we show that H1 is equal to H2 f of H1 means it is A times H1 equals A times H2 means H1 equals H2. Hence this function f is a 1 1 function from H to A H. Since here H is a finite it follows that order of H equals order of A H. Since A H is contained in H and H is contained in A H means the order of A H is equal to H, it follows that A H is equal to H. Since A belongs to H, H belongs to A H, A belongs to A H, then you can take that A can be written as A times H1, H1 is an element in that set H. If A is equal to A E, then A E can be written as A times H1, E is equal to H1, means identity is also belongs to H. Since E belongs to H minus A H, E can be written as A times H square, some H square belongs to H. Evidently, H square is equal to the A inverse. Thus, every A belongs to H has an inverse in H. This is the proof for the another theorem when H is a finite and H is a subgroup of G, if and only for all A B belongs to H, we have A B belongs to H. Today we will discuss the some of the theorems. Uh, next class we were today we discuss some of the group and also some of the examples related to group and also we define the subgroup. After defining a group we deduce the properties of a subgroup and, and also instead of proving whole group we can show that if any H is a subgroup of G then we show that A into B in mass also belongs to H. This is the one property shown then it is a subgroup. Thank you.